Barry Gordy Jr. was born on November 28, 1929 in Detroit, Michigan. In his early years, Barry dropped out of the 11th grade. Barry tried to do professional boxing, but it didn't work out. Then he was enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1951, serving in Korea until he was discharged in 1953. Not much later, Barry turned to music. On April 14, 1960, Barry launched Motown Records, originally known as Tamir Records, with an $800 loan from his family. When Motown just started, he got his start as a songwriter from some of the little local Detroit acts like Jackie Wilson and the Matadors. Barry wrote the big time hit for Jackie, Lonely Teardrops. The song went on to be covered by the Beatles in 1963 and the Flying Lizards in 1979. In the 1960s, Motown started to get some huge success with 79 records in the top 10 Billboard Top 100 between 1960 and also 1969. The Marvelous were the first major hit from Motown. Please Mr. Postman became the first song to reach number one on the billboard. Marvin Gaye, The Supremes, Smokey Robinson, Stevie Wonder, and many more Motown artists brought African American music to a comeback, including the Jackson 5, that put Motown on the map as one of the most successful black record labels in the world. Before the Jackson 5 became popular, Barry Gordy didn't want to sign with them because they were kids. As soon as Barry heard them sing, he immediately signed them to Motown. The Jackson 5 were the first black male group to get four consecutive number ones, including I Want You Back, ABC, I'll Be There, and The Love You Save. In the summer of 1972, Barry Gordy moved the business of Motown to Los Angeles due to the 1967 Detroit riots. When that happened, a lot changed for the business. One advantage of the move was they now had more opportunities to get more artists. And with more artists came more money. Motown, with the move, also started getting into filmmaking. Their most popular film was Lady Sings the Blues. The 80s were a great time for Motown. In 1982, Michael Jackson released his album, Thriller. It won seven Grammys and is one of Michael's best albums and one of the best albums of all time. One of the most important events that happened in the 80s for Motown was that Gordy sold Motown Records to MCA in 1988. The 90s were a great time for Motown. In 1991, Boyz II Men debuted their album, Cooley High Harmony. This album sold more than 7 million copies and won a Grammy, starting the beginning of their careers. In 1993, for the first time in Super Bowl history of that time, they got a big name star to do the halftime show, Michael Jackson. Many people say this is one of the best Super Bowl halftime shows of all time. He performed many of his hits, including Billie Jean, Jam, Black or White, and Another Part of Me. The next important thing that happened in the 90s was in 1998 for Super Bowl 32. They held a tribute to Motown. Headlining the event was Smokey Robinson, Queen Latifah, Martha Reeves, The Temptations, and the main event of the show, Boys to Men. Also, in 1998, a major event happened for Motown. Motown became a part of Universal Music Group. Today, Many still signed to Motown, including the Migos, Little Baby, and NBA Youngboy. Many still feel the effect that Motown has on today's music, whether it is from the artists that have recently signed or people who tried to make similar music to the artists signed to Motown before. Motown is one of the most successful record labels of all time, and all of it is because of Barry Gordy and his views on how Motown would turn out.